And notice, I defined the word and I didn't pick up a dictionary. Am I going to give you a dictionary on the park? No. No, you've got to use your context clues. If I read and reread and dig and dig and question as I read and think out loud, right? I can get the definition of that word. I don't need a dictionary. Oh, yes. So you know, like how, uh, like, uh, uh, what's the name of it? It's like an insect. I think it's called a wooden, no, it's the walking stick. Mm -hmm. It blends in with a uh, tree stick. So, like, when, I forgot the name of the bug, they're trying to uh, eat it, but it, when they're trying to eat it, it blends in. With and you stick. can't see it, so it's hiding from the predators. predators. Another connection. Very nice. Good readers do that. Very nice. Very good. All right. So here. All right. So they can become a mimic. Can I add to my summary? Who can think of one thing that I can add to my summary? Call on someone to help you answer. Mm -hmm. uh, with the summary, you can already, like, you can already, uh, you can write down or tell someone what you, what you basically have. Okay, so I just read about a predator. So somebody give me one little sentence that'll sum up talking about a predator. Tyler, come on. I call on you. What can I put? I put animals and plants change over time. They can become a mimic. Predators stay away from the mimic because they think the mimic is poison. Perfect. So I can even put predators. Stay away. From the mimic. And I can add because they think the, the mimic is poisonous. I can add as much as I want to, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm summarizing on the what side? The left, left side. side. And on the right side, I'm digging deeper. Digging deeper. Digging, dip, di digging deeper, digging deeper. Okay. <laughs> Then it says, as a result, the mimic population is better able to survive. Okay? So then for mimic, my last little thing, I'm going to do a little plus sign because mimics are doing really well, right? They're finding success. Moving to paragraph four. A good example of this can be found among snakes. The Arizona coral snake is a highly poisonous species. Well, I know poison is poison. If I have poison, then I'm going to possibly, I could die. Highly poisonous. So I don't have to underline that. I know that word. I remember that word. This, snake's, this snake lives in different parts of Arizona and New Mexico. The Arizona coral snake has a black head and distinctive body markings. Distinctive. Distinctive. Aha. Distinctive. New word. Its body has large rings of red and black mixed with smaller rings of white and yellow. Distinctive. Well, let me dig a little bit deeper. What do you think that word means? What do you think? Keosha, what do you think distinctive means? Let's read it again. The snake lives in different parts of Arizona and New Mexico. The Arizona coral snake has a black head and distinctive body markings. Its body has large rings of red and black mixed with smaller rings of white and yellow. What do you think distinctive means? I said its body has large rings of Okay, the fact that it has all these markings that are bright colored, right? Okay, so somebody want to add to her definition. Kaylee. Distinctive means like short amount of the animal. They have lips. Okay. So let's let's go back. Let's let's look let's look again. The Arizona coral snake has a black head and distinctive body markings. Its body has large rings of red and black mixed with smaller rings of white and yellow. So it's very colorful, right? And so if it's very colorful, it's probably going to do what, Chris? Strange. Okay, it's strange. 
So you want to go back? So then distinctive means that you can do what? See it. So it's going to stand out. So distinctive means stand out. And you didn't have a dictionary. Y'all are good. All you got to do is context clues. Oh! <laughs> and the heavens opened up. So when we get to a word I don't know, do I skip it? No. no. Just keep reading. Keep reading. Then you keep reading, I find the You will, you will, not might. You will. you will find the definition. Yes, sir. I agree with the passage that would say that it's high poisonous fishing. Poisonous? Poisonous. Because I know that blood snakes that do uh, mimic this is the but the uh, how do you know the mimic the Swiss snakes? Okay, so he's saying that the mimic may have some of the distinctive markings, but not as many, right? It has small, same, colors, but small same colors, but it's smaller colors. Small lines and small heads. Smaller lines and then a smaller head. So you can say that's the mimic. Very nice connection. Because that's what I know. Because that's what I know. Oh. <laughs> Marquis. Uh, According to the text, I can I can um I can infer that the um the Arizona coral snake is um is brightly colored to look like a target from other animals. Okay, so you want do you think it's to look like a target? Okay, because look, I can when I saw when my connection when I thought about the large rings of red and black, it looked like a Target. Okay, so I would agree with that. Okay, Donald. Uh, back to the word poisonous. According to the text, I think uh, I got a question. When you said the word poisonous, I think that um, I wanted to ask, like, you know how we say the word poison, and mm -hmm. when we and when in the text added O U S, that means more. Go ahead. So let's do that. Circle the word poisonous in paragraph four. <clears throat> Circle the word poisonous in paragraph four. And let's draw a line out. Donald mentioned the word poison. He knows what that means. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to put can danger you, can harm you. But he talked about adding O-U-S, and he says he thinks that means doing it more. And let's do a question mark. Because he's digging what? Deeper, deeper. Digging deeper. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's look at our last paragraph. The Arizona coral snake is not a large snake. An adult is only about 21 inches long. Picture that in your head. Okay, a ruler is 12 inches. Two rulers is about 24, so it's a little shy of two feet. But don't be fooled by its small size. Even large predators have learned to avoid this snake because its venom, ding, 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 is very strong. In fact, the Arizona coral snake's venom is as powerful as a cobra. So let's see. Let's go to the left side where we're talking about what the author is saying. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. An example of a mimic that they gave us in paragraph four is a what? Snake. Okay. Found in Arizona with markings that stand out. Then it goes on to talk about the Arizona coral snake being venomous. <coughs> okay, but then that was a new word. So let me go back over to the right side.
right where I highlighted the word venom. Take a moment and talk it out with the person across from you. What do you think venom means? Go back into the text. Have a whisper conversation. What do you think venom means? And I want you to be so confident that you write your definition on your right side of what venom means. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. I don't hear any more rambling. It's up here. Seven. Six. Five. I still hear rambling. That's good. Four. Three, good job. Two, I see circling, I see lines going. I see people writing their definition that they came up with on the right side because the right side is where I dig deeper. Venom. Venom. Jaquincy. What did you guys come up with for venom? I love it. Did you hear what they came up with? Say it again nice and loud because I'm going to use yours. It was so good. It's a liquid inside of a snake and when the snake bites you, you can die from Type of liquid. And in, the, in a snake, you said that when it bites you, You can die. I like that. I'm putting that exact one. He's he right? Yeah. Absolutely. Anybody word it differently? Kendari, what did you and John Trail come up with as your definition for venom? A poison liquid that can harm you. Kendari? Miss Howard, don't let him steal your thunder. It is a poison liquid that can kill you. A poison liquid that can kill you. Very nice. Um, Carlos, what did you and Brianna come up with? Carlos, what did you and Brianna come up with? I want to hear from you. Okay, another word for poison and a liquid that can kill you. Do we have a good definition class of venom? Yes. And we did not use a dictionary. All right. So, hold on one second. Hold on one second. If I ask you to summarize this passage, could you? Yes. Somebody tell me, what could you use without having to read this entire passage? Look at your entire piece of paper. What could you use if I said summarize? Javon, what could you use if I said, Javon, summarize this text for me? What could you use? What side of the paper could you use to let them finish, give them some thought time? What could you use, sweetheart? You, all you have to do is do what? Look at the left margin, and I can, I got all the highlights. Boom, right there. Right? Right there in front of me. So let me see who is courageous enough to summarize this text. Raphael, could you summarize this article entitled Natural Mimics, please? Uh, this article is about animals, about animals using mimics, I mean, their surroundings to blend in. Mm -hmm. and um, um, the predators have to stay away from them because they can get poisonous. Mm -hmm. And poisonous um, means like it can, um, it's, a, it's like something to protect the living from the predator. And 
any of the following. Snakes that have venom in them and that they bite you, say you will you will die from it. Very nice. Give him a hand. He did a fantastic job. And all he did was use the left side of the margin.